Hi and welcome to this Educate Fitness short covering the digestive system. In this short we're going to be covering the four stages of digestion, the food's journey through the alimentary canal and what we have in the alimentary canal. So a good place to start would be asking the question what is the digestive system? Well the digestive system is responsible for the intake, the breakdown, the use and removal of food and drink. It tells us when we're hungry, it tells us when we're full, and it also tells us when we are thirsty. And it does all this through the ANS, the Autonomic Nervous System, sending messages via the brain, via that, uh, that ANS, the Autonomic Nervous System. Now there are four stages of digestion. First we've got ingestion, which is the food is chewed in the mouth. Then we've got digestion, which is the breakdown of food through mechanical and smooth chemical processes which is basically the release of enzymes. Then we've got absorption, which is the passing of food or nutrients to the bloodstream, which is then going to be used by the body. And finally, we've got elimination, which is removal of the waste, basically what's left over. All right, so that covers the four stages. Let's go through the journey through the alimentary canal, which is also known as the digestive tract, the gastro tract, or even the gut. But for the purposes of this short, we're going to use the terminology uh, alimentary canal. So when food makes its journey through the alimentary canal, it can actually take up to 24 hours. The whole of the alimentary canal, it can cover a distance of nine meters from ingestion at the mouth to excretion at the anus. Let's run through the process that food takes as it goes through the canal. Alright, first and foremost we've got the mouth, so this is the point where food enters the body. Once it's there, our teeth will rip and it'll grind it into smaller pieces. Saliva also moistens the food and saturates it with enzymes and that's where the food breaks down. The, 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 the food starts breaking down and then the tongue pushes the food through the throat to swallow. Next we've got the esophagus or the gullet. Now the esophagus is a thick walled muscular tube that carries the broken food from the mouth to our stomachs. The saliva that moistened the food in our mouth helps it transport it through the esophagus with the mucous membrane. That said, gravity does do most of the work and a series of wave-like contractions, they call it peristalsis, does the rest. From the esophagus, the food enters our stomach. Now the stomach is a J-shaped muscular bag and it's located on the left side of our upper abdomen. Whilst most nutrients can be absorbed in the small intestine, we'll get to that in a second, the stomach can also absorb some. Now I don't want to go into too much detail but food is churned up and mixed with a liquid called chyme. This chyme then goes through another ring-like muscle, it's called the pyloric sphincter, and it enters the small intestine. Now it does this quite slowly, it can usually take between 1 to 4 hours for our stomachs to empty, depending on what we've eaten. Carbs empty first, then protein, whereas the fats and fibre move through slowest. Next we've got the small intestine, so the small intestine is a small tightly folded tube that receives the chyme from the stomach. It's the major site of digestion within the alimentary canal. And the role is to absorb nutrients into the bloodstream, to pass to the body tissues for it to be used as energy. Something called peristalsis, which is wave-like muscular contractions, move things along the, uh, along the small intestine uh, rather slowly. It can take around 4 to 8 hours for the chyme to get through the small intestine. Now this slow pace is actually a good thing, it lets the small intestine absorb most of the nutrients eaten. And this can also include any drugs or medication that you take, and also alcohol. Just out of interest, there are three parts of the small intestine. There's the duodendum, the jejunum, and the ileum. But to be honest, that's for another video, we're not going to cover that just here. Next we've got the large intestine, which is the, uh, the last part of this digestive system. So the chyme that enters the large intestine from the small intestine absorbs water and vitamins from food residue. 
It then forms and stores faeces ready for excretion. The large intestine is made up of the colon and the rectum which is basically the passageway for faeces which then leads to the anus which is a valve like exit from the end of the alimentary canal. Now food can stay in the large intestine for 12 to 25 more hours. Moving along at only 5 cm per hour, that's 2 inches per hour, before being excreted as waste. Okay, so that basically is the digestive system. That's the, uh, the alimentary canal. And uh, that's the process that you will need to know for your level 2 gym instructing uh, qualification. So my advice is to run through this slide, go into a little bit more detail and understand it. Make sure you can present it. Remember, the food enters the mouth through the esophagus into the stomach, then into the small intestine and the large intestine. And you need to know the information that I presented in this video short. The next YouTube short that I would recommend you watch is the breakdown and absorption of food. You can find that here. And this is going to let you know how food is broken down and absorbed. We'll talk about how carbohydrates, fats and protein are broken down and how they're used. And we'll also cover fibre and liver. So please do give that a look. For now, please write your comments and questions in the comments section below this video. Please do subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.